All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Haven't done a video in a while. I've been working on some machines. I have a bunch of jewels in Jewel Model 3. You guys probably know that from the Wednesday TV show on Netflix. They got popular, but uh, I'm restoring a few of them now. And they're pretty basic machines, but they are a little tricky to work on. So I wanted to go into the, the feed roller portion of the program because there isn't a lot of information out here on these and to take off this back panel you have to take off the feed rollers and the clamps and all that stuff to change the feed rollers and a lot of people like to get new rubber because these things are going to be old and not useful so uh it took me a while to figure out the best way to to, to come at this because in order to take the feed rollers out it has one side disassembled already. That's why it's, I'm, I'm able to move this roller. But normally they would be locked in to position in this cradle like it normally would. But we'll get that out of here for now. So in, in order to get that this cradle out, you could see there's a screw right here. And it's blocked. And you could try to fit a screwdriver in, in there. It's just, it's it's not very fun to get to. And there's two five millimeter nuts on this end and these nuts are just to hold the spring captive so the spring doesn't fall out but everything relies on this screw so in order to get the feed rollers out you have to take this these five millimeter nuts off the end and then you have to pull out this long screw right here and that holds this whole system together because it the screw pins through the paper table then it goes to the cradle then it goes into the frame mount of the the actual carriage. Then you got your spring and then the two nuts. That's the order of process. And to get this out and to get it back, to get it out isn't that difficult because you can finagle a screwdriver in here like this way and, and, and get it out. But to install it, it is a bit of a pain in the butt. So the best way I figured to do it is to take off the carriage end caps and that's very simple to do with this screw and then this screw on the back to the rail and then you can take off this main screw you see there's three in a row there's one on the top here that is your carriage rack and what that will allow you to do is just move this whole carriage end cap out of the way so i'm just going to demonstrate it on on this side really quick because this is the side we're working on so let me find the cap this might be a long video but these technical videos there's not a lot of information out here on on this stuff and this is a fairly basic procedure so i kind of want to have some video documentation sorry i'm gonna have to myself in the way of the camera but yeah so we're gonna take this screw out right here do, 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 do. Okay, so we got the one screw off the front rail, and then we're going to move to this back rail right here. I'm going to take this screw out. They're, they're pretty easy to get out. I say that. So we'll take that screw out right there. And then, like I said, you're going to take this one screw out that holds the carriage rack in place and that will allow you to flip the whole thing over so we'll take that screw out like so and so now you have this carriage I'm going to zoom out so we can get a, a full view so now we have the carriage end cap released and you, it's attached by the paper bail. And so we can actually maneuver ourselves in here to do the paper bail system, which would go through that whole thing right there. And of course we would bring the carriage closer so we can work on it like so. But yeah, that's 
that's the, the way that I figured out is the best way to do it. Because if you're doing it like this, uh, you can't get in there. But if you're doing it like this, you can. And it's really only three those three screws. And then it just goes right back to normal. So I thought I would show that off to folks in case you're doing a platen removal and feed roller replacement on the jewel. And all the jewels are the same so far. I've, I've worked on the, the one, two, and the three. And they're all basically the same with feet, different added features. And then you've got to put the spring in there the right way and just keep track of the order of things. And if you can take this part off on the side, that will give you easy access to reinstall everything. And you can see there's like a gap there and that's where the, the cradle will go. The other cradle, I have it in here somewhere. But anyway, you guys don't need to see that. You got the procedure down. But if anybody comes across jewel stuff and they need jewel help, uh, the escapements are kind of tricky. There's no star wheel. It's just this little uh, interference guy that dips out of the way for the, the carriage rack. I rebuilt the main springs. So I've done, done some work on these. Let me know if you guys need any help and we will talk to you later.